Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try that speed contest or that speed challenge thing. That seemed like a lot of fun. Let's see how fast we can get this little slingshot to go. I'm just going to be using 1745 tubes in a half loop uh, fashion like that. One of Ray Shots pouches. It's a light kangaroo pouch and uh, 33 caliber lead. These are about 54 grains a piece. All right. The uh, shooting saw I'm going to be using. Thumb up, turn to the side, full draw. First shot, 30103. Second shot, let's see if I can get this in here. 30508. Third shot, 297.7. Four shot, 294.8. I think that the the cold's kind of getting to them here. And this one I'm going to pull all the way back and see what it does. This is using 1745 tubes and 33 caliber lead. Oop, almost exactly 300. 300.7. Okay. Same setup, but today it's a, it's about 82 degrees, so it's around 22 degrees uh, warmer than my first test. I'm going to use the same exact setup, same exact ammo, which is a 33 caliber uh, lead, and that's uh, 54 grains. Same crony, only the difference is today it's uh, 22 degrees warmer. Let's see what we do get with it here. Three hundred and fifty four feet per second. Let's see if I can zoom that in for you. The warmer it is, the better latex performs. That's all there is to it. 367 two days ago when I did this first time it was close to uh, it was around 55 to 60 degrees all day when we had the front blow in and again the front's gone away Three hundred and eighty-five. These bands are warming up as I'm shooting. It's funny. Three hundred and eighty-five point three, and this is with uh, thirty-three caliber lead, fifty-four grains. As you can see, everybody can get four hundred on these by pulling it all the way back. Yep, 403.0, 
I'm gonna pull it all the way back one more time for the fifth shot. It should be interesting. This is over 400 feet per second with tubes using a uh, type of ammo that I wouldn't feel bad about hunting with either. That's pretty good. What I'm gonna do is after this, I'm gonna go and uh, take a uh, bunch of cans, set them up here, and see how much penetration you get out of that too. That should be interesting. Four hundred and seventeen point five. I'm gonna shoot another couple of shots. I might, uh, I might get it up really high here. Uh, let's see what it does with two more shots. It seems to be just going up and up as the bands warm up. I just took them out of the house right before I decided to video this. <sighs> Flies flying around. Warm day. That's when they come out. Huh? Oh, well, back down to 397. One more shot. We'll do one last one. I'm gonna pull it all the way back, and of course I'm gonna use my my thumb pulled like this. So I'm gonna get about a. Uh, this is a. This is just a little over a foot of uh, play here. So I'm gonna pull it back. Then I'm gonna get about 72 inches of draw on it. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Oh, that's not right. Let's have a fly fly over it. This is us shooting. I'll shoot one more shot. I'm going to go for a record using 33 caliber lead. 1745 tubes and the half taper. Got some leaves blowing around, so it could have one go over the sensor at the same time, so I have to make sure here. Oh, well, 419. 0.5 feet per second. So I think that's the highest I've gotten is 419.5 with uh, 1745 tubes, but it, it is possible. Now I know it's possible. That means if with a little bit of uh, messing around with them, you might be able to get some more speed out of them. Anyway, I'm going to set up uh, some soda pop cans, see how many soda pop cans we can get through. We're using, uh, using uh, that same thing over 400 feet per second with 33 caliber lead. Seven cans up here. I'm going to shoot some uh, 33 caliber lead. See how many cans we can get through with it. Shooting about 400 feet per second. I think I get exactly level with it here. <sighs> 